after writing two transformational books myself and supporting many other beings to do the same, I've become enthralled by the deep and mysterious magic that's activated when we choose to say yes to ourselves and commit to the book writing journey. Of course, we want to inspire change and new perspectives in our readers, but the transformation that happens as an author, both throughout the writing process and by actually releasing your book into the world is surprisingly potent. I know I've been blindsided in the most disruptive and delicious ways by some of the changes my books have brought into my life. Writing a book is like casting a spell. Although we can never be completely sure what's going to be unleashed during the process, we choose to do it anyway. This Unbound One is a heroic journey. Each book has the potential to be a magical portal, a doorway to a new world, both for you and your reader. Each book has a very specific medicine that it's here to share with us. And each book gives us the opportunity to alchemize the magnificent imperfection of our experience into gold. The truth is that anyone can write a book. We could all get a few thousand words down and put them together. But what fascinates me is what happens when we allow the book writing process to go deeper. When we say, fuck it, get naked and dive way down beneath the surface letting go of the shoulds and any need to be acceptable, sensible or approved of. What fascinates me is what happens when we make ourselves fully available to being transformed by the very act of writing a book. This is Unbound Writing and this is the process we'll be exploring together here in the Unbound Writers Club. I'm Nicola Humber, author and founder of The Unbound Press, and I help magical beings to write the transformational book they're really here to write at this time. I'm your guide here in The Unbound Writers Club, and the aim of this podcast is to help you to feel supported, encouraged, activated as you embark on your book writing journey. Whether you're a first-time author or have many books out in the world, my hope is that you will find something here to inspire you. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Unbound Writers Club when we are talking about book launches, how to release your book into the world in the most powerful and joyful way. And that word joyful is really important because however you decide to do this, you get to do it your way and you get to do it in a way that feels good and I just want to say like even if you're listening to this and maybe you haven't even started writing your book yet it feels like the idea of launching it is way way off then actually starting to feel into but how you might like to launch your book what you might like to do around the release of your book It can be really inspiring and motivating, you know, something that you can have as part of your vision that can help to get you into momentum with your book and move you through any challenging times. And obviously, if you are coming towards the end of writing your book, maybe going through the publishing process, then hopefully there will be some ideas in this episode to inspire you, get you excited. So like I said, like certainly... We're unbound. So there is no set way to launch your book that is like the right way. There's no perfect way to do this. And there's also no rush, no pressure when it comes to your book launch. I mean, writing and publishing a book is quite a feat, particularly when we are writing in this unbound way like writing a transformational book. Maybe you've gone deep into your journey. You know, you've experienced transformation as you've been writing your book. The publishing process can feel quite intense, however you do it. 
And there can be this expectation that after all that, like we're doing this big fancy book launch and maybe you're just exhausted. Like all of the feels can come up around the time our book is released into the world. So sometimes this idea that we have to have a big party (laughs) and be in all the places to tell people about our books, it's just not feasible. And I don't want to put you off. Like I really feel it's important to celebrate when our books are birthed into the world, but also it's important to be mindful of your energy and how like the emotions that can come up around our book launch as well. So just to know there's no rush, like you can take your time with this. Yes, you might have a big party or event on the day your book comes out. You might choose to do it a couple of weeks later or a couple of months later. Like your book has a lifetime and you get to celebrate it and share about it for weeks, months, years after it goes into the world. So I just want to say that because it can feel like a lot of pressure. On the other hand, I have always found it useful to look at what other authors are doing and tune into like what would feel good for me. Like, is the, Are there ideas there that I could implement around my own book launch? And you know, I've released three books to date. And with my first book, Heal You're in a Good Girl, I was initially intending to do an in-person event, but then that felt, it didn't feel good. I started planning it and it's like, actually, I'm not sure about this. I was speaking at another event around the book launch and that felt really good because somebody else was organizing it (laughs) and I just rocked up, did a talk, um, shared about my book. Amazing. The idea of organizing a book launch event myself after writing my book and I was self-publishing it. So I was going through that whole process. It was like, actually, that's a no. And I ended up doing an online event over in my free Facebook group that I had at the time. When it come, came to my second book, Unbound, I did want to have an in-person event. Um, you know, I've been through the process once with Hill, You're in a Good Girl, uh, of writing and publishing the book. So I thought, actually, I am going to have, you know, it was quite a small event. Um, it was over the summer. We were outside. It was it was beautiful, you know, really informal I love that was a really felt like a really great celebration for the book. And with my third book, Unbound Writing, it actually came out in October 2020. So it was during kind of COVID times. And um, so I just did that was really low key. I was in the States at the time and we were just Mr. H and I were just in the process of like thinking about returning to the UK. So there was a lot going on. And I did a Facebook Live with the amazing Joe Gifford. That's how I celebrated and launched Unbound Writing. So I I have always tended towards the low-key side of things. That's just my vibe. And knowing that, like I said, I get to keep sharing about my book, my books, um, long after the launch. But looking at what other authors are doing and have done has always inspired me. A couple of people who come to mind One is Lisa Lister, who has written some fabulous books. I remember when her book Code Red was coming out. Um, I can't remember what year it was. It was probably about 2016, maybe 2017. I believe she self-published that one. I mean, she is a Hay House author, but with that book, my the way I'm remembering it is no publisher really wanted to publish a book about periods <laughs> at the time. I mean, now, like everyone's talking about periods, but she was a pioneer in that sense. So she self-published and she invited people in her audience on her email list to be part of her book launch like squad. And you got a preview copy, like PDF of the book to read through on the basis that you would share about it on the release date, which I was very, very happy to do. And she also asked if anybody 
in her audience would like to have her on their podcast which again I was like yes please um I had a heal your inner good girl podcast at the time so uh, we had a conversation on that and that was the first time that I'd noticed somebody like inviting people in their audience to be part of like a team to support them with their book launch and I was like oh that is such a great idea it's so simple isn't it but that's something you might like to think about is like you know who can you invite to uh, have a preview copy of your book it could be the whole book it could be a couple of chapters and be willing to share about it on the release date so you can provide them with a an image of the cover maybe you know a couple of lines that they might like to to share you know provide them with some um some copy that they might like to share around the book make it really simple for them and invite everybody to be sharing about your book on the day it comes out into the world because then it just has this lovely momentum and that can feel like a relatively easeful like you could have a massive book launch squad you could just have a handful of people who are going to do that and that helps the message to ripple out Another author, and as I'm recording this, she is in the process of launching her book right now, is Laura Belgray, who, she's an amazing writer. She's a copywriter, which she offers, um, she doesn't do copywriting herself now, but she offers tips around copywriting, like writing emails. Check her out if you haven't already. And her first book, which is kind of an irreverent memoir is called Tough Titties and it's coming out in June and I'm on Laura's email list and I can't remember what it was probably a couple of months ago even three months ago she asked people on her email list again whether they would be interested in like helping to promote the book as it comes out into the world there was a google form that you had to complete if you were interested and you would get Um, again a pdf copy of the book i think if you're in the states because she's based in the states people in the states who were part of her book launch um, team would get an actual copy of the book like a preview um i don't know if it's hardback or paperback version of the book uh but i'm in the uk so i just got the pdf but she has been like really on it with this book launch so you know when you become part of the like promo team she is emailing quite regularly like asking us to like you can do preview reviews on goodreads so she's asked us to do that asking us to do amazon reviews on the day it comes out obviously share about the book on social media on the day it comes out and she's offering some really lovely bonuses really powerful bonuses to her book launch team and anyone who pre-orders a copy of her book so she's done a really great behind the scenes of what the writing process was like and also you know getting a traditional publishing deal so she has promote um approached it in this like much more strategic way and you know it's been really inspiring to see I probably would not have the energy or the inclination to to do all the the things that she has been that she's been doing but you know she's really going for it and there is something around like being all in like she's really encouraging pre-orders, like giving special bonuses if people pre-order more than one copy of her book, which is something that I've seen a few people do over the past couple of years, you know, encouraging people to pre-order like two, five, 10, 20 copies of their book, which they can then, you know, give to other people or, you know, maybe offer as um, to their clients or whatever, and then being eligible for bonuses in order to you know when they do that so like like I say you can go all in with this <laughs> and be really creative about like inviting other people to be part of the process basically the intention is like on the release day you want people to be sharing about your book if possible and also like leaving reviews for your book that's a great thing to encourage people to do on Amazon and also on Goodreads, as I've mentioned, because all of that is going to help your book reach more people. 
And also there is no pressure to do any of this and you can do it at any time. It doesn't all have to happen on the launch day. So that's kind of inviting other people to help you be sharing about your book. You may, you know, be looking for opportunities to appear on people's podcasts, talking in other people's like groups, communities, like all good things to do around the launch. And of course, you may want to have uh, some kind of event to celebrate. Again, either online or in person. Like it's been such a pleasure for me to attend quite a few in person book launches with Unbound Press authors recently. And it's just such a joy. And they have had all different flavors. So, like, there have been bigger events with like 100 plus people, there's been more intimate events. You know, you could get to do this however you like. You might choose to have it in a local bookstore or some other kind of event venue. When I went to Patricia Langton's in uh, just outside Dublin recently for Stones in My Bones, her book, that was in a a sports club in her her local town. Some rare graces was uh for winter wisdom was a like a gorgeous retreat venue where they run workshops like in the new forest that was beautiful and you know at your book launch event again there's no right way to do this there's no wrong way to do it but generally the author like you as the author will say a few words maybe read a little bit from your book and and do a book signing uh and obviously sell copies of your book at the event So, you know, that can be a really fun thing to do. And I really encourage you to see it as fun and to, you know, allow that event to to be as kind of easeful and joyful for you as you possibly can. Like I said, all the feels can be coming up on the day that our book makes its way into the world. So you might want to have it on the actual day. You may want to have it a bit before the release date, you can absolutely do that. You may want to have it a couple of weeks afterwards. Like, it doesn't all have to happen on the actual day. So, yeah, book launch event, either virtual or in person. And you might want to think about a book tour, which can happen over a period of time. That can obviously happen in person. Maybe you arrange a series of events, like in different places either locally to you, around the country, maybe even internationally, you know, visiting places. It could be bookstores, but you could organize uh, your own events like doing book signings, talks around your book. And like I said, that could happen over a period of time, uh, weeks, months, where you're sharing about your book. You can also do a virtual book tour. Maybe you arrange to speak on a number of podcasts over a period of time about your book, um, or like I said, appear in people's maybe Facebook groups or online communities where you are talking about your book. That can be a fun thing to do. And actually at the Unbound Press, we work with an amazing company, Love Book Tours, where they organize virtual book tours, uh, providing a preview copy of your book to different hosts who will then be sharing about your book on social media around the launch day. And you can have like a book tour, I think of seven days, 10 days or longer. Um, So we'll make sure we put the link to Love Book Tours in the show notes because it's such a great service for authors. So there are lots of things that you can do around the launch. And you get to choose the ones that feel good for you. There's probably lots of ideas that I haven't even spoken about, but I just wanted to give you something to like spark off some inspiration wherever you are on your journey. Because, you know, we want this to, it is a celebration when your book uh, gets released into the world. It's such an amazing thing to actually complete your book and get it published, you know, start sharing it, getting it into the hands of people. So it definitely warrants a celebration. And also you get to do it in a way that's really mindful of your energy and your feelings and you get to take your time. So I would love to hear from you how this episode has landed with you, what it has sparked off. If you are planning your book launch, please do let me know about it. 
I always love to hear how you are celebrating your book. And I will be back again soon with another episode of the Unbound Writers Club. Magical one. I would love to gift you a free meditation, which is going to help supercharge your book writing process. You know, one of the challenges you might have been experiencing up until now is either having no clue what to write about or having so many ideas that you get confused and end up procrastinating. And we definitely don't want that. (laughs) The good news is there's a simple way of moving beyond these challenges because there really is a specific book that's waiting to come through you and it has a unique essence of its own. This practice This meditation is about connecting with that book and gaining new insights from it. So this is my meeting your book visualization where you really get to connect with the essence, the spirit of your book. What you get to realize is your book writing journey doesn't have to be a solitary process where you're figuring everything out on your own. It can be a creative collaboration between you, your book and your unbound self. So head over to nicolahumber.com slash connecting hyphen with hyphen your hyphen book hyphen visualization. Oh my goddess, that was a mouthful. (laughs) If you head over to my website, nicolahumber.com, you will find this visualization and you can download your free copy now.